Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again for another part two e-vlog this week. We are here with our Mac and Featherlight for our Young Buck Beverage Co. And we are not heading out for the Wheel of Modified Tour. No, 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 no. We are heading up to Iowa with the Xfinity Series. Let's show you go. This is what that drive is going to be like. It's going to be about 15 hours for us to get all the way up there. Looks like it's going to be a great drive. Going to get up here, hit the 90, well, <laughs> 85 to 90 to 80. Uh, then be going across 80. It should be a pretty fantastic time. Now, it's, it's technically in the middle. It's closer to Des Moines. But uh, that had the better parking options for us here for going up to uh, Iowa. So our first time going up to Iowa Speedway for a race. Very excited to be back with the Xfinity Series. You guys won't see a lot of the driving because we have so many videos already coming out this week. But I promise those drive time lapses will be coming up shortly. But it's time for us to head out, hit the road, and we'll see you guys when we get a little bit closer to Iowa. All right, everybody, we are just under an hour out from our destination. Hope that you guys are doing well. It was a nice drive up here. Um, man, I've got a splitting headache that just won't go away. Next week, though, we are going to be driving up to Loudoun for doubleheader racing up there. Very excited about going home. First time bringing in the um, holler back up there since, what, April, May, whenever that uh, Northeast shootout was. So, yeah, very excited about that double header up there. Two races in one day. We're doing a total of 300 miles at New Hampshire that day. And if we just added one more, if we get a green-white checkered, we will pretty much be running the equivalent of a cup race <laughs> in one day. <laughs> oh, boy, it's going to be a good time. <coughs> Ooh. Come on, focus, focus, speed down. That might be a cop up in front of us. Also, I saw a cyber truck for the first time the other day. I just had to bring that up because I never thought I'd see one up here. I wasn't in the city, wasn't anywhere. I was just bringing the RV back home, and there was a cyber truck. Ugliest thing that I've seen, man. And I've seen some pretty bad Dodge and Chevys. But um, yeah, that was that was interesting. But it looks like this is our exit right up here. This is pretty much the. Iowa 80 truck stop the infamous one and we're going to get ourselves down here and nestled in for uh, practice qualifying and 250 laps here with the Xfinity series now last time we were with the, with the Xfinity series uh, was in Darlington and uh, that did not go the way that we were hoping that it would um we had a pretty okay car. We got caught up with a big crash that came out of turn four. I know, the trailer bottom's out. Ain't nothing I can do. Um, and then we ended up crashing out. So a little bummer after that. And that was after a back-to-back. -back. So I said, okay, if we're going to sign up for these, we're going to do tracks that I want to do. And not just doing them because I think we should. Um, so we're going to be at Iowa. We're going to be at New Hampshire. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing Pocono just because it's a fun shape. Thinking about doing Indianapolis because I think, you know, it's Indy. We'll probably hop on to do the Xfinity race at Martinsville later in the year. And I know we'll be going to Phoenix. So a lot of stuff to look forward to, a lot of stuff coming in the future. But let's take it one week at a time. Let's get ourselves in here and parked. A lot of cup haulers over there, staged and ready. Expecting Martin Truex to actually make his... Uh, retirement announcement this weekend as well so that'll be interesting uh, we're not points and it looks pretty pretty packed in here just of normal so we'll come down here next to that uh, yellow truck down here I can't even tell if it's a looks like a Kenworth maybe we'll get down in here and get ourselves parked and situated and get ourselves started to be unloaded for this week There's no line over here, but I can fake it. That's fine. I'm just going to pull forward just so I can see. There we go. Time to get ourselves 
unloaded, and uh, we can get ready to start our day down here, up here, I should say, at Iowa. All right, it always feels cool when we get to be able to be up here with the big dogs of the Xfinity Series. You know, just we, we run a lot of the smaller series, and we used to do the truck series, but this feels like the, the top of our game. This is where we're going to be able to be, So, because uh, I have no in intention of really ever running a, a cup race. I might be a relief driver at some point for somebody. But uh, I don't see it happening a lot. But let's get ourselves unloaded and get ourselves ready for practice here on this third Friday. Friday here at Iowa. to come off eighth in practice. There's a couple things that I want to finish. Uh, finish. There's a couple things that I want to fix. I think we're going to have a lot faster long run speed, but I just need a little bit more give coming out of four. It seems a little tight, and it really wants to drift up there closer to the wall, and I would really like to keep a clean race car for, <laughs> for this race, please. I don't want them to trying to fix it before we head up to Loudon next week because it's already going to be a long turnaround from there. But it's time for us to head out for qualifying. We'll see you guys right afterwards, and let's hope maybe we can start mid-pack here at Iowa. That was a little bit unex unexpected, but we do do a pretty good job at qualifying. We got the pole here at Iowa, starting on the front row. Very excited about it. I think that'll give us a good chance to be able to actually stay up front and uh, keep that good, clean air and uh, maybe be able to hold it. You never know. Uh, it's 250 laps. It's a long time. Got at least two pit stops that are going to be happening in there, not including any of the cautions that may come up. So we will find out, but for now, let's head out racing here at Iowa.
Look at that. A winner, winner, a chicken dinner, as it were. <laughs> God, that was bad, huh? Uh, regardless, that was pretty awesome. That was a great race. We brought home the victory here for the Young Buck Beverage Co. Ford Mustang here in the Xfinity Series. That is win number four of the year. We won at Phoenix. We've won at Talladega, Dover, and now Iowa. Of course, we're not doing anything for points, so we're kind of screwing up their points. But we dominated this race. We were able to win both stages. Uh, it was pretty amazing, that first pit stop. Uh, we had a race right off of pit road. It was so close. It was it was so much fun. It was so much fun. Um, but yeah, that's another victory in our belt and gives us great momentum heading up to Loudon this week uh, to New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And that's home for us. And it would be amazing to be able to kind of do another repeat of back to backs. But then that'd be five wins in a year. And that feels a little dominating. So I'll, I'll bump up the difficulty a little bit. But Loudon's tricky as it is. I'm just excited to be there. But that's going to do it for this part two vlog of the weekend. I hope that you guys enjoyed. We're going to be going loud and bound next week. It's got a good drive back to the shop. I actually think I can pull through. I won't pull through here. But that's going to do it for this one. And I can't wait to be able to see you guys next week. Thank you guys for celebrating here with us. As well as we were able to bring home... Another win for Frog Dog Racing this year. More just happy that the car is in one piece. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoy what you saw, we do try to get a video out here on the channel every single day. And thank you guys so much for your continued support. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.